Historically, cron has been the go-to tool for automating repetitive tasks, from running backups to clearing temporary files. And this is because cron jobs are lightweight and easy to set up. However, the logs for cron jobs are usually scattered, there's no built-in mechanism for missed tasks, and it lacks integration with system services. A more modern alternative to cron jobs are something called system D timers. And essentially, a timer triggers a corresponding service, which defines the task to run. And so this will be better demonstrated with an example. And specifically what I'll do is I will create a systemd timer from this cron job right here. And all this cron job does, does is prints hello from cron to this text file every minute. So to turn this into a systemd timer, we first need to create a service file and a timer file. So we're gonna create the service file and the timer file in the location etc, systemd, and system. And so the service file will define what we want to run and the timer file will specify when and how the service should run. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a hello world.service file. And in that, I'm going to paste this stuff right here. So we give it a description, and then we also give it the command to run. And all I would need to do is just save this. And now I would just create the timer. And in the timer file, we can see another description. We get the actual timers. So we want it to persist, and we're running it every minute. And now let me save this file. So now we have our timer file and our service file. Now we just need to enable the service. So it's called hello world.service, which I can run just like this. And now we can actually verify the status of both the timer and service to see if it is actively running. So if I do the timer, we can see it's active. And another way to view this, let me clear the screen, is I can list out all the timers. And here we have our hello world timer. We can see information such as how much time it has left till it runs again, when it last ran, and then we can even use journal CTL to inspect the logs of the service. So here's every time it's ran, and we can see it's running every minute with also the logs of what it's doing. And so all of this only scratches the surface of system D timers. They also provide error handling, dependency management, granular timing, and more. So I suggest you look into these before deciding to use cron jobs next. I wanna thank you for liking and subscribing. Check out my courses and software in the description, and take care.